Hello and welcome to today's video in which we're going to talk about uh, hardware interrupts and not the just bullsh on off ones like an input turns on please e uh, execute this interrupt no it's about the analog ones uh, if we are above or below a certain threshold therefore I have got something prepared here this is an example where I have a sensor could be pressure could be distance could be anything I can change the sensor value here I have written a small program for this that doesn't really, you don't need to care. I just don't have an analog sensor here, so I have to use my simulation here. Um, yeah, I've got this, right? And I'm pushing just the sensor value and I'm not pushing the distance or the uh, pressure or temperature, whatever it might be. I'm actually working on the millivolt level here because this is what my PLC sees. I have configured my hardware, uh, my my analog input module in such a way that it realizes and works with values from 0 to 10 volts, which is 0 to 10,000 millivolts. Um, and I have already two hardware interrupts integrated in my program here, hardware interrupt high limit one, hardware interrupt high, uh, low limit one, um, and works as follows. If I go above 7,000 millivolts, I will have this function executed this ob if i go below 3000 i will execute this function which is i just have a counter in both so if i go below 3000 here we go Burp, you see a value 9 if i go above again and below again value 10 11 12 uh what maybe i was too fast uh, 12 13 i was just too fast uh, and the same on above 7000 9 10 11 we could realize that by just don't look at that function. We don't need to take care of this is because I don't have the real uh, real sensor here. We could simply solve that with a comparator function, right? I could have a comparator. I could look at the analog input and I could say if this analog input is above a certain threshold, then please do something on that line. Um, the difference when doing it with an interrupt is that the interrupt has a way higher priority meaning it's executed way faster and also the interrupt um, actually works on the voltage level so you don't need to take care of any scaling or so this is all this is pre-done because you're just taking the sensor value which you have in voltage and you just type in if the value is above seven volts execute the function right you don't need to do anything any programming there you're just configuring um yeah Let's see, in the function, I really just have a simple counter. I just, whenever we go above, add one. And it's really only when we're doing it, right? So it's edge triggered. It's not now doing it all the time. It's only doing it once. When we go from below to above. And we're not looking at the PLC value. We're really looking at the voltage here, right? Sometime, some, somehow in, internally in the PLC, it's an integer value, right? The analog input, and you see this is some strange value. We don't want to work with this. I just want to say above 7,000 millivolts, execute the function. Good. So those are our prerequisites. How do we do that? It's very simple, actually. We go into our device configuration. You'll see I have four modules, uh, digital in, digital out, analog in, analog out. Of course, we need that on our analog input module. So I open this one and you already see it's open here, there, right? Uh, it usually opens in general. Now we can go to module parameters, um, not, we go to inputs, zero to seven. And now I need to see which channel, like I could have connected eight sensors here because I have eight channels, zero through seven. Um, which channel should react, right? Which channel should execute our OB? And there we have, I have, wired in i have actually connected an analog output module here directly to an analog input so the analog output module is my sensor so this value that i'm setting here is being put out of my analog output module which serves as a sensor so to say sending 7000 millivolts there or whatever value i have right now it's 4908 4.9 volts right now from the analog out to my analog in that's what i have could use a sensor usually you would have a sensor good so I've got this, right? I go to my channel four because that's where I have wired it. And I could right now go to my, uh, so measuring, I'm going from zero to 10 volts, right? That's my analog. If you don't know about analog processing, I've made a video on it, check it out on my channel. Um, 
you gotta search maybe a little bit, but you'll find it. <laughs> Uh, here on channel 4 that I have selected, which is the top right one here, where my sensor is, I have already enabled two hardware interrupts. Hardware interrupt high limit one, hardware interrupt low limit one. You see, the high limit one should activate when we are going above 7.000 volts. I could also say 7.03 volts. Now it would react exactly on that voltage, right? This is when I go above and my low limit, this is when I go exactly below. I could also do something like that. So it's very precise. <clears throat> then let's make a new one. So those I have pre-done. Now let's do one as example. Uh, let's do another high limit. I will just enable it on this channel and now it's really only active on this channel. I need to give it a name so we can analyze it also uh, later on, but not too important right now. It has a priority, priority 16. Your normal program, your OB1 has a priority of one. This has 16, so this is way stronger. If this occurs, everything else is not so important. This is dangerous. Could be an overpressure in our tank, right? Could be something is way too close to a wall, something like that. So right now I wanna say if we're above maybe nine volts, right? I set it here to nine volts. Um, if we're above nine volts, you see this function gets executed. This is still empty, so I have to click on the three dots here. And I can add a new one, right? So let's add a new one. It creates, and you see this is now already number 42 because number 40 and 41 I have already created. Uh, let's give it a good name, high limit two. I create the function right here. It's empty right now. I will just create a simple counter again. Uh, I will have to put that somehow on my HMI. Here we go. Um, High limit, <laughs> high limit to count. I make that float. I just push that in here, drag and drop. And I also have my screen of my HMI. I will also just drag and drop it here. Just remember this is our high limit, right? When we're above 9,000, I think I've said it right. Here we go. Now I can save, I can download. So I'm downloading to my real physical PLC here. Might take a second, here we go. And I will also start my WinCC runtime here. On the simulate button and it's going to open. This is really communicating with my physical PLC. So right now you see below 3000 already counted one because we started at zero volts. Uh, if I go above here. So now above 7,000, right? It should count. And I can now also go above 9,000 and our function is going to be executed, right? If I just do this, right? It should count always whenever we go to 9,000, we go below again, like this, both should count, right? This is how you can implement a hardware interrupt, right? A hardware interrupt using analog inputs. I already made a video on digital inputs. If you would like to know about more well, if you would like to know more about that, check out the video. Um, if this helped you a little bit or if you still have any questions, leave a comment uh, down in the comments below. Um, yeah, if this was of any help, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more content and I will see you in the next video. Bye.